Well, for the month of May, we are taking you back to the early days of WDSU as the first TV station here in Louisiana and the Gulf South, nearly 75 years of news. WDSU's Randy Russo has been digging through our archives, taking us back to our roots and the footprint of our station, which has been broadcasting into your homes for decades. WDSU has been a fixture here at the corner of Howard and Barone in the CBD for the better part of a quarter of a century. Live, local, late breaking. This is WDSU News This Morning. But as the first TV station here in the state of Louisiana, we actually have a storied history across several city blocks in New Orleans. WDSU actually got its start as a radio station. Initially, WCBE, holding its first broadcast just a few blocks off of St. Charles Avenue near a chicken coop. It would eventually be bought by Joe Uhalt. When my father called in a 23-piece Elks Brass Band to play in the living room, only a dozen members could fit in. They decided to call the chicken coop in the rear yard into service. Several years later, in 1928, it would broadcast high above the Pavillon Hotel, which was formerly the DeSoto Hotel. That's where the D in WDSU gets its name. The S was from the Old States newspaper and U from U-Halt. But our TV operation started within the Hibernia Bank building. In the 1950s, the heart of the French Quarter would become our home for nearly five decades, broadcasting our news, weather, cooking, and entertainment shows from 520 Royal Street, which is now home to the historic New Orleans collection. There was an old warehouse that ain't there no more in the back of this facade where productions would take place. And this courtyard, heavily used for guests, live remotes, and performances. Not only was WDSU the first TV station here in the city, we were the first in the state and the Gulf Coast. The first to bring you big events like Mardi Gras to the Sugar Bowl, even extensive hurricane coverage. In 1996, operations moved from the Vucare to its current location in the CBD. In 2009, the radio station which first bore our name went off air when the station went digital, with a concentration now in web-based content as well as on air. There have also been some notable names that have come through those old Royal Street doors through the years at WDSU. And throughout the month of May, we'll hear from them and take a look at the contributions of the station, a part of history, while telling you those history-making moments across South Louisiana and the Gulf Coast. What a great story yes. by Randy. We should point out every Friday for the next month, she'll be bringing you back in time. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can catch WDSU's Flashback Friday series on the 6 a.m. hour of WDSU News this morning and right here on WDSU News at 5. NBC Nightly News. With